got a lot on my mind. Notice anything new? This hairstyle is closer to Lady Shah's own image. I did it to honor her. What do you think? Good. I did this for Lady Shah. For myself. But I had hoped you'd like it as well. I wanted to talk to you about that. Lady Shah has bestowed a great honor upon me. But it isn't without a cost, it seems. She expects me to fill my heart up with love for her alone, leaving no room for others. No room for us. I... I don't want to. But Lady Shah demands it. Everything is surrendered to her, ultimately. But she claims some things earlier than others, it seems. Perhaps we'll still be able to find a way. Some interpretation of her will that lets us stay together. But I can't guarantee anything. And I suspect that she'll demand more and more of me as time passes. If you don't want to gamble on that. I understand. You'll have little trouble finding a more straightforward lover, I suspect. As will I. Lady Shah may have honored me, but I think it was you who changed me. Indeed. And already I have seen to some of her holy work. The apostate Kethric Thorm is dead. He stole Lady Shah's powers to extend his profane life. No more. Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Nightsinger's eternal darkness is restored.